everybody, I'm Tom Vassell, and today I'm taking a look at an expansion for an app. <laughs> Normally I don't do that, uh, look, take a look at apps, but Terraforming Mars, which is one of my favorite board game apps there is. It's certainly one, it's probably the board game app that I have played the most on a personal level but there's no expansions. But finally, they're bringing Prelude. Prelude is out now for Terraforming Mars. Uh, what Prelude is, it's, a, it's the simplest of expansions. It adds a few more corporations that you play in Terraforming Mars, but it also adds four Prelude cards that you get to look at and pick two of them that give you some sort of bonus or boost or awesomeness involved. It makes the game faster. It's one of the few expansions which decreases playing time. My rating of this game in real life, the actual expansion, is a 10 out of 10. I will never play Terraforming Mars without it. It is amazing. For how small it is, it certainly does exactly what I want it to do. For ease of use, it's plugged right into the app itself. It's You just play it and it's there. Um, I am going to give it a 4 out of 5 instead of 5 out of 5. Why? Because they do one wonky thing. At the beginning, you pick your corporation. Then you get to pick your prelude cards. And then after you, you when you look at your prelude cards, you're like, would you like to change your corporation? I think it would have been nice, and maybe this programming reason, that you showed them both to at the same time. I just think it's weird that you have to pick a corporation, then pick your prelude cards, and if you want to go back and change your corporation, you can. And then after you pick both of those, then you pick your starting hand, and then you can go back and rechange them. And that's the way it is in the board game, but you draw all those things at the same time, and you can look at them. Here it just felt weird that you had to pick, and then pick, and then maybe have to unpick if you want to. That's minor, but I did ding it for that. For graphics, well, it's the same as the original game, so, I don't know, three out of five. <laughs> it's not terraform. Well, four out of five. I, it doesn't. We'll say four out of five. It, it or maybe NA. I guess it doesn't matter. They're just more cards. They look fine, but you look. You don't look at them any more than the very beginning of the game. Pizzazz. Nah. It just. This doesn't matter here. No points for that. AI. The AI picks stuff. I don't know how well they put them together. So we'll put a question mark here for the AI. I don't know how much the AI uses Prelude to help them make a nice combo. I would be curious to see like how they program that. Like if I pick this one, the AI will has an order of all the different Prelude cards that will add to that one. That would be interesting to see. Any problems with it? Nope. Other than that weird picking order I saw at the beginning. Things I enjoyed about it. I just love it. I'm telling you, what this does is it gives you a jump start into the game. You start the game with more stuff. That's a big deal to me because starting the game with more stuff makes the game go just a little bit faster and going a little bit faster does not hurt terraforming Mars. Solo or multiplayer, actually this is one that I do with both. I'll gladly play with other people. I'll gladly play against the AI. I, I, do, I have not tried this yet. I am curious. I'd have to go back and look to see if you can play Prelude if the other person doesn't have it. I would assume you both have to have it, so keep that in mind. Does this replace the physical game? No, because while I love, for solo version, if I'm playing against someone else, I still would like to sit at the table and see all the pieces as we move them around. Overall, this expansion, I'll give it a nine out of 10. Uh, for no other reason than it just is a good addition to the game. If you own Terraforming Mars as an app, you must get this. I'll say it's just as a must get for this game as it is for the actual physical game. So there you go. I'm Tom Vassell. Thanks for watching The Dice Tower.